Global Action Plan for UNESCO. Um, and it's actually what we do uh, every day. As you perhaps, I, I know that some of you um, have been, are familiar with the program we've been running since a very long time ago at Lund University and now recently from an independent foundation outside the university, the Young Masters Program on Sustainable Development. And the core features of that program is that we use the internet <coughs> to give assignments to students all around the world. They do these assignments in their local environment. Typically they are interacting with the community surrounding the school, they are doing field investigations, they are doing small re uh, reporting on, on uh, problems or solutions that they can find in their neighborhoods, and then they upload that back to us and we share it among the other students. We try to match students so that you get stories from the other side of the world and you can compare your reality to the reality somewhere else. And um, the pedagogical idea behind that is, of course, that first of all, see local examples of global issues where you live, but also learn in a much more efficient way than you can do from a textbook what the world actually looks like. It is a much, has a much greater impact on anyone 16 years old to hear a story about poverty from someone that has done it in a poor country as compared to reading about it in a textbook. So that's the, the, the idea behind it. So when um, Chuck's talking about moving from the periphery to the core, I think that's exactly what our commitment is about. Uh, we want to do a few things with this new project, the goals.org, that I'm going to show a little um, video uh, introduction about in a minute. We want to explore the possibilities with new technology, and especially the fact that we are going to have the first connected generation wi within a couple of decades. And these young people, they are coming online uh, today <coughs> by millions, and they do it through mobile phones, affordable smartphones. So we have been struggling hard to design uh, the application to work on the cheap smartphones that you are finding right now in the poor countries around the world. Because we need those voices in the global dialogue to make this work. Uh, we also want to find ways to scale up deep learning and exper experiential learning and, and uh, skills training uh, in the same way as you do with MOOCs. I think that MOOCs are just the first uh, step on a way where we will transform education through technology. And right now we are losing very many of the qualities that we have in traditional education with uh, personal interaction and uh, interacting with the physical world. Um, and we move to uh, uh, solutions where we are interacting with the screen. But we use uh, the technology just to give assignments that actually pushes the, the learners out in the surroundings and the, in society and find out about things for themselves. So we have, in our educations, they are online educations, but typically the learners are spending 70% of their time offline, finding out the things that we ask them to find out. And just to show you what the goals.org will do, I will uh, show you this little video and then I will just give a few concluding remarks. This year, all 193 member states of the United Nations will adopt a new set of development goals to make the world more sustainable by 2030. These goals are about finding practical solutions to worldwide challenges, challenges like poverty, illiteracy and climate change. This might sound a bit complicated, and it is, but everyone can do something, especially if we don't have to do it alone. Cheap smartphones are changing our world, and soon enough almost everyone will be online, even in the poorest of countries. The youth of today will be the first connected generation. What if we can also turn them into the first sustainable generation? There are hundreds of millions of young people around the world, and almost every single one of them is eager to understand how the world works and to make it better. We believe if they could share their ideas and what they've learned, we can build a better, 
more sustainable future. Thegoals.org is a free global education and learning platform that offers an open crowd learning experience to educate young people on the new sustainable development goals. It connects students and teenagers from all corners of the world and can be used on even the most basic mobile devices. Here's how it works. Young people from around the world meet up at thegoals.org where the sustainable development goals have been transformed to bite-sized challenges. They sign up for a challenge, pollution related for example. Each challenge has different missions and assignments. They set out to investigate their challenge in their local areas. Their stories and discoveries are uploaded to the web through the app. The stories get feedback and are shared over the globe inspiring other students and young people trying to solve similar challenges. A schoolgirl in Denmark sees a solution and uses it to do something in her own community. A student in Buenos Aires suggests how the solution could be improved and adapted. A scout troop in Indonesia uses that solution to help solve and complete a different challenge. Over time, better and better solutions for an increasing number of challenges are collected at the goal.org and shared among a growing number of users problem is so big that it can't be solved piece by piece. Millions of small ideas can help achieve any goal, no matter how big and overwhelming it might seem at first. We already have a network of partners ready to get on board. Together, we represent more than 100 million young people. Imagine what we can do when the whole world is on board. This is how the first connected generation becomes the first sustainable generation. Thegoals.org. Real change. Yes, uh, so that's the grand vision behind the goals.org. And we launched the platform uh, at the World Scout Jamboree in Japan uh, in September, in, uh, late in the summer of, of um, 2015. Um, we, when we talk about these 100 million uh, young people that we have in the network, uh, the Scouts, World Scouts Organization is obviously the, the largest one of the partners that we have, but we have been working with CE here in, here in India for uh, many years and also with partners in China and elsewhere. So we have uh, also working with uh, the mother organization FEE with the Echo Schools around the world. So altogether we have more than 100 million potential users. Uh, and then, so the, the quest right now is to reach out to all of them. And the, what we are hoping to do when it comes to uh, the gap is that we, since we are reaching out to grassroots uh, level schools, and we find many times uh, ex pro projects, change projects of excellency on that level, what we hope to do is to feed in that kind of projects and that kind of students into the flagship project that UNESCO is planning for leadership training for in, in ESD for, for students uh, and young leaders and provide a contingency of grassroots level students from around the world to that program. That is how we think it could fit in. And otherwise the, the, the main core business for us is to get the numbers there to reach as many as possible. It's free for everyone. It works for formal and informal learning situations and you can try it out. We will have a school version up by September this year. Thank you. <laughs>